Hi, I'm Clark Galtek. I'm a curve pump specialist and I'm going to show you five really easy tips to help you maintain a curve pump from start to finish. Tip one is the setup. Traditional slurry pumps, you set up with your barrel either to the front or to the back. With a curve, you set it up once to the back and never again. Tip two, the sealing arrangement. On the curve, no matter if it's wet gland or dry gland, the only thing you need to know about the sealing arrangement is your lantern ring. The outer, outer o-ring on your lantern ring needs to be facing your impeller. Tip three, o-ring placement. The easiest way I remember the o-rings on a curve pump is that behind and in front of every rotating part, there needs to be an o-ring. Tip four, one of the biggest hassles I've come across on sites is the discharge pipe. With a curve S range, that eliminates the issue, and I'll show you why. If you have a close look, it's at an angle, and that allows the front of your wet end to slide out without interference. Tip five, my final tip. To me, this is the most valuable tip that you can give, and this is pre-assembly of your front end of your wet end in the maintenance workshop. You pre-assemble your front liner, your volute, and your casing, all in one, ready to be assembled. 